Hey there, today we're going to talk about how to best dry your wing out and how to pack it after a session. So it's best practice after a session to always try and dry your wing out before you pack it away. So unfortunately with the sport of winging, more often than not you come off the water with the wing wet. So it's something you really need to think about. Sometimes I realise it's not possible because you might be in a hurry or it just absolutely pours, you know, it's, it's raining and you just can't get that thing dry. So in this case, we'd recommend rolling it up loosely and putting it in the bag, but as soon as you get home, take it out and hang it from the front handle, the front depower handle, from a hook in your garage and just let it drip dry. So the best case scenario is once you come off the water, I'll often walk up, leave my board down on the beach and I'll carry my wing up and I'll look for somewhere like a good clear space. So you want to flip the wing over, have it upside down and you want to fasten it to a fairly sturdy object, you know, like a park bench or something. And I use the front wrist leash and fasten it down nice and low so it's not going to flap around. Sometimes I'll actually run the leash around the object and bring it back and fasten it to the front handle if you want that, that leash just to be a bit shorter so it won't flap around. Okay, so today's a good day. I've actually come out of the water, wing's dried off so I'm ready to pack it down. The reason that you wouldn't pack a wet wing is because if you pack it up tight and you leave it in the bag for a long amount of time it's going to end up smelling really bad and the other thing is you can get colour migration so the darker colours can end up staining the lighter colours of the canopy so it's just not a good look. So now there's a couple of different uh, handle types on the market so if you have soft handles then traditionally you would deflate the wing and you'd fold it together and roll it up keeping the handles on the inside but now that we have rigid handles that I'm demonstrating with this one we actually do it the opposite way so I'm just going to run you through how we do it So as you can see with the rigid handles and especially if the wind's blow blowing a little I'll position it with the wing downwind and it naturally just claps inside out. So the reason we do this, you just hold on to the handles is that when you roll the wing up the rigid handles aren't going to be sort of rubbing against the canopy and it just reduces the chances of getting any sort of wear through. So now I would just go to, the wind would be blowing at my back and I would have the wing downwind and I would just proceed to, to roll it right the way up. So as I'm rolling this up it's just interesting to note that where the windows finish aligns with where the back of the front handle is. So it's quite important with these windows, they, they don't really like having a fold right through them. So wherever possible, roll it up and then with all of the north wings we end that break between handles becomes a fold point and so the window will end before that and then you're going to fold it in half. So I'll keep on going, just something to note. So just while we're up here at the valves, it's just interesting to note because different wings have different configurations. So with the North Nova wing that I have here, there's a main inflation valve on the leading edge. And then we have these two one pump hoses with pinch clips on them, which feed the strut. So there's a couple of things going on here. The reason that we have a hose on each side is to keep the bladder in check. So some of the earlier wings that came out on the market, they used to, the front of this bladder could flip under when it was deflated and people were having issues with the bladders exploding and things. So by having 
these hoses on either side we're just keeping that front of the strut bladder in check and so it can't twist and get out of shape. As explained before I'll just take a fold right between those handles and the wing is good to put in the bag. So as you can see these handles are outside and they've got no chance to be rubbing on the canopy here. If you've got soft handles it's not really such a concern. You can just fold the, the wing in the normal way you would and fold it up. All right so I've just got the bag here and there's a couple of features I can run through while I've got it. So these bags do have vents to help the wing breathe a little. So if it is a little bit damp, you know you've left it there for a short amount of time, it's gonna breathe. And we've also got a drain hole on the bottom here so any moisture will drip out. And then the bags, they don't go all the way to the bottom, the zipper. So it leaves a bit of a pocket here that you can stuff the wing into. So when I'm putting the wing into the bag, I'll often put, this is kind of the messy end with the leading edge and that, and the front handle. I'll push that down into this captive end first. So you'll notice these zippers are high quality YKK plastic zippers. And we use nothing but plastic zippers because metal zippers can corrode over time. There's nothing more frustrating than going to open your bag and the zipper just comes off and you, you can't get in there to have your session. So after you've done it up, another cool little feature is that we have this pocket on the outside. So this part of your leash stays pretty wet and it doesn't dry out as quick as the canopy. So we have this little pocket where you can just stuff that one out there so it's not gonna keep you know, your, your nice dry wing wet. All right, so that's us on how to dry and pack your wing. If any of you guys out there have any tips or tricks on how you like to pack your wing, then post them down in the comments below and we look forward to catching you next time.